We've stopped by the uh, Starbury Studios here in Uppsala, Sweden, to find out a little bit more about a game that's just recently been sort of coming out on, on its own. I've known about it for quite some time, and it's been a game that you've been wanting to make for a very long time, Joseph. So can you tell us a little bit about sort of how this came to be, how you sort of got your, your feet into the, the sort of the video game industry and, and to create this game? Well, to make a long story short, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm a real hardcore gamer. I love games. I've always had a dream at some point of working with one. And I got the chance, uh, uh, there was a school that they had some students during a summer vacation to do something. And I, they asked me if I wanted to do a kind of a prototype. And that's actually the first time I came up with the idea for Brothers. And from there, the rest is... Uh, you know, history or whatever you want to say, I don't know. But I mean, I've been working, that, that's kind of three years ago and I've been going to different studios trying to convince them this is really a cool idea. And uh, they actually like the idea, but you know, because of uh, Brothers, uh, in a way, maybe it's risky or maybe, you know, it, you know, it does some stuff which is, you know, maybe unique or different or whatever. I think that and also at that time, the downloadable business wasn't that... Uh, you know, hot as it, as it is today. I don't know, but uh, so so. But I'm extremely happy that Starbreeze wanted to, you know, do this game, which I'm extremely proud of. Because because I, I remember when you first set about to do this, you were kind of a li little bit cocky. You know, you're yeah. coming from the film industry. Yeah, we'll get f we, we'll get financing for this. We'll get to do it. And yeah. has it has it been uh, has it been a little bit more difficult than you thought? Well, I'm always cocky, man. <laughs> that, that, that's my thing. But the thing is, oh yeah, definitely. It's, it's been a lot of difficult. The, 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 the greatest challenge has been in actually, you know, doing the game. I mean, sitting down with the team and, you know, of course the, the game has been changed a lot and, you know, it's been, it's been going through different, uh, you know, what do you say? Uh, yeah, different stuff. So, so uh, th that's the most challenging thing that's been. But, but to actually, uh, the the strong belief I have in the game is still that I really truly believe that we are doing something special here, especially if you game through uh, play through the whole game. Uh, but it's been extremely challenging because of this uh, mechanic that we're using, controlling two characters at the same time, which not so many games has been taken so far as we are doing here, mm. which you know gives us a lot of tough. Uh, it's like we're on, you know, this uncharted territory. So it's like, how do we solve the camera? How is how do we solve the puzzles? How how do we, you know, how do how do we figure out everything? Because it's uh, extremely challenging. And also in this game, we have a lot of uh, unique stuff. I mean, all from animations to environment to to gameplay. So it's a huge amount of content in there. And the, the team is working their ass off and they're really good. I mean, it, it's so I'm so impressed. I mean, comparing to making a movie, it's a walk in a park. I mean, making a movie is nothing, but making games has been insanely hard. It's a, uh, I guess it's like uh, you have to sort of not just build a set, but you have to build the sort of the machines that build the set as well. Yeah, I mean, if you compare making movies to games, literally, you could say that making a movie it's like having an audience on set and that audience is walking around on your set and grabbing the camera touching the actors you know pushing down your camera p turning off the light you're like what the fuck are you doing you know it's it's a feeling like that uh, but uh, you you kind of like you know get used to it after a while you have to really a lot of the work is actually to prevent you know what play uh, if if the player really did what you you want them to do then it, sh it wouldn't be a problem but but it's because to save up. So if the player does this, what happens then? So so many things that I think in, in this game will f feel like, oh, that's a nice experience, but we've covered up. So whatever the player do, it's covered, hopefully. So <laughs> it's been tough. <laughs> I, you know, when, when, when you get sort of, because a lot of uh, film directors who have experience in that have sort of crossed over to video games. And, mm -hmm. and sort of the initial thought you think is like, oh, there's going to be, it's going to be Hollywood. It's going to be big. It's going to yeah. be epic. But this is like the, the total opposite. It's mm -hmm. very quiet, very toned down mm -hmm. and sort of, uh, and I know of course I've I met you many many years ago when you were interested in games back then and you have this interest for games so how do you feel, be because it, it feels like you have a different approach mm -hmm. to, to making this game than you would have to making a movie. Is that correct? Yeah definitely. I think uh, w the, the examples we've seen before, I mean I'm thinking of like uh, not comparing myself was to Spielberg, but still, I mean, Spielberg is a film director, and uh, we have the example of John Boo. Uh, there have been some examples, and I think most of th those uh, have been used more as a, uh, you know, as a 
commercial thing. Maybe they use their name as people is working this, but I don't. I don't really think that they are any core game. They are. They're not really interested in games. For me, I'm really interested in the, in in the in the games, the interactive experience, and I love games. I play pretty much every game. So for me, it was about to try. And for me, the game industry, the, there's so much creativity to be explored. I mean, it, it's coming really cool and new good games. But I think that there are much more to come, and there are much more to explore. And and I think that it's it's really a lot left that that haven't been explored yet. I mean, I know that there has been, you know, talks about like you know, uh, the controller has you know the, the controller is done now. We need something else. But I think that we, we're focusing more on that and less on the game because there's so much to discover of the game. Sure, we have first person. We have you know. RTS, fighting games, racing, and so on and so on. But I really, truly believe that this is only the beginning of something really big. I think in, in 10, 15 years, there's going to happen great things in game. And it is happening, uh, of course, mostly because of the independent business that is growing. And there we see those ideas who sticks out and who dares to different stuff. I think those are the games going to change the industry. And I always buy those games. Even if they're not perfectly executed, I buy them just to support these kind of games. I, I think they're extremely important. So hopefully, when people bl play Brothers, they were they will you know uh, like that as well. You know that the idea that we are trying to make something different and hopefully you know connect with some emotion and stuff with the player and, and stuff like that. I mean, I'm quite sure when you play through this game, something you you will experience something. So it's uh, it's 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 really exciting to see what uh, how player will react when they play through it. So one game that, that ha it has been likened to, and of course it's hard to describe, uh, compare a game, but we're journalists, we're lazy, we like to ca take, say, oh, this is, maybe it's the next journey has mm. been the mm. game that has mm. been mentioned. Mm. But of course there's one fundamental part where it's totally different than journey, because journey at its core is a cooperative thing, yeah. and where you sort of explore that cooperation. Mm -hmm. And in this case, that's something that you really did not want to do. Exactly. I mean, it is definitely because the, I mean, there have been people both both in the studio and outside that's been, you know, saying maybe we shouldn't do it like this, we should do it like that. But it's extremely important that uh, that uh, Brothers is a single player experience. Uh, I mean, I can't go into all the details, but extremely important that you bond and connect with the Brothers. I mean, if, if uh, my hope is that your left hand is Big Brother, your right hand is, is Little Brother, and, and hopefully you will play it through in one sitting, because the game is a pretty much uh, four-hour experience, something like that. And I think they will get the full experience if you if you really play it through like that. Uh, so that's never gonna happen, co-op. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. No <laughs> hacks, no, no sort no of no mods. No, not during my lifetime. And also, what we are trying to put in this game is it. Uh, we are put. Uh, we are trying to put in puzzles and challenges. Who uses this simultaneous uh, mechanic? So we're trying to put it in as much as we can, so you actually feel more comfortable in controlling two characters than one. And uh, I, I always talk about this example, like when you when you tie your shoe, if you do it alone or if you, you know, do it with someone else. This is not a typical uh, co-op game. It's really a single player. You could call it a single player co-op game if you want. I don't know, but it's it's extremely important. That it's a single player game. And. Uh, Something else about the game that I think think stands out is the sort of the, the atmosphere, the sort of the tranquility, the sort of the calmness. And I think it's reflected both in visuals and in, in sort of the audio mm. that you that you hear. Uh, wh what what is it that you're trying to achieve with there, that? Well, we, we have uh, we, we, we want uh, because the, the, the pace in the game is quite uh, soft. And I mean, it goes up sometimes, of course, but we, we want the world to uh, to feel lush and and, and 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 beautiful, and hopefully for the player to kind of like, uh, you know, have fun to experience and be curious of them. Pretty much playing with the player's curiosity. That also goes with the story and with the with the music as well. To try to set this mood, so so the player just sit in the sofa and relax and enjoy this uh, this adventure with these brothers. So it's it's kind of like. Uh, that's also one of the reasons why we don't have any text or HUD or anything like that, just to keep the, the experience clean, mm. clean and, and, and keep it uh, interesting all the time. So variation is also something. So what we have released till now, the visuals, is, is just from early part of the game. It will change a lot uh, later on in the game. And that's also something that we change also in the gameplay. All, all the, the, the gameplay, you will not play one thing twice. It will, it will happen something new at you all the time. I'm quite sure that people, when they play one hour, they will feel like they won't understand because something new will be thrown at them all the time, something new, so. Mm. Which take a lot of time for the, 
for the team because it, it takes a lot of effort to do this unique stuff all the time. But I think the reason why we can do that is we have this simple mechanic. We only have one button per brother, so we can change the, 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 the gameplay but still keep the simplicity with the one button per brother, pretty much. Has, has that simplicity always been part of the vision or is that something that you came about as, as you started developing the game? No, it's actually something that's been developed through the game when I came to Starbiz and uh, collaborating with the team. And the team is, I mean, they're great, they're, you know, I mean, we, we have we worked with, with each other very closely and creatively. We, you know, we change ideas all the time and talk, can we do this, can we do that? So that's something that we evolved, had been evolved through times. Uh, the core mechanic has, has, is still there, but how we, you know, change it to something else, it's, it's, uh, I'm really happy how it's uh, been evolving all the time. But uh, I mean, many of the ideas couldn't get in the game because they were too complicated to make. That was before I understood how much <laughs> work it is to make games, because it's insane. I mean, it's insane. I mean, is there, is there anything you could say that this was cut because it was too much work? <sighs> that, yeah, there was some, uh, there w uh, I can't go into it exactly. You, you, I, I can talk to you about it when you have played it through. Then I can go in and pinpoint. Uh, yeah, you don't want to spoil it before. No, no, no we really don't want to spoil I've it. Already promised to play it through the entire game. Yes, please do. Definitely, it's it's it's, it's going to be a really cool thing. I can promise you that. And it's going to be done fairly soon. Yeah, hopefully it's going to come out on uh, 360, uh, PS3, and Steam in uh, spring 2013. It's a downloadable title, so it's not a it's uh, it's not a triple A production. That's the good part. We don't have any publishers here to interfere. I mean, that's the good thing. You know, we can do the game we want to do. That's the fun part. Because, to be honest with you, I mean, it's it's well known that some you know some 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 publishers have destroyed some games. I mean, that's not that's that's not uh, that's not so, that's not what fun say, man. That's not new. Everybody knows about that. But I mean, hopefully, uh, you know, new games and new ideas will come out and we will see more of those games. And I hope all the people support those kind of games, of course. So people who have the money pay for those as well.